happen. No, it doesn't. All right, cool. We're live. Session 24. What? Act 3 what? of the Veldammer Masquerade, AD&D, Tomoto Islands, Electric Dice Podcast. It's a whole lot of things to say. We've got a big cast. We're starting 10 minutes late. Got a lot of excitement. Um, who wants to remind us of the the, the parallel A side and B side um, endings of the last two sessions? While well, I definitely tweet out links everywhere. <laughs> well, you see, our lovely uh, Madame Wizard friend, uh, you know, as as promised, I said I'd help her out, and she was like, "Lysander, now!" Uh, and I was busy being interrogated by a vampire, so then she was mauled by dogs and brutally died. That that is accurate. That happened. I I didn't do my thing. <laughs> uh, I'm headed to the basement. Squid's probably doing something because the Inquisition is here. Uh, Dan is probably I know bartering two copper pennies for something. Um, <laughs> R- Riley fun. is also doing things. There's a lot happening. Sassin sassin a lady over by the fountain. <laughs> Yeah, Squid I think just I'm took a big drink, there. and I still think needs more booze, because y- you were like helping a bunch of a couple injured people from the event, if I recall, and then the doors burst open and dogs rushed in, and you just like, there's not enough alcohol in this manner to help you now, I- either with the drinking or the sanitizing of wounds. Also, that jester guy is still around, and I, I, he's obnoxious. That is true. Yeah, what, uh, is it the loon? Mm-hmm. Igdon? Yeah, the Igdon. loon. Igdon the loon. He's going to be the one person to survive this. Always. Like, <laughs> everyone around him will die, and you'll just be like, sure, I'll, I guess I'll roll for him, and he's not going to get anything but ones or twenties, whatever are good. Yeah, I mean it depends, but yeah. Yeah, he will not die ever. Also, Josh, you are a part of the Inquisition, and I think either just let some guy in who had dogs, or are the guy who was just let in with the dogs. I let in a man with dogs. How dare you? <laughs> Inquisition is going to inquire. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't mean you have to do it by inquiring the face off of some random wizard lady. Don't tell me how to do my job. <laughs> I don't know how to do my job. Also, if I recall, Riley had a... Oh, yeah, the the lady where you had your conversation all up on the little platform as you hovered out of her way and she really wanted to murder you, but couldn't murder you because you were flying. Yeah, pretty much. And you realize, wait a second, you're both murderers, but you're not related murderers. So yeah. you both are going to go on your merry way. Also, that lady cheated at the three uh, golden, silver, platinum men game by murdering them all. A lot of murders. I mean, so, she found them. I, yeah, but she had <laughs> killed them. That's not fair. <laughs> she doesn't no care about the prize. Well, I do. That was like, the game. <laughs> I mean, technically, you get the prize, because if she doesn't claim it, you're the next person to find them all. I didn't look down. (laughs) Yeah, no, I was very mad at you. You would not play ball with any of the things I wanted that scene to have happen. Great, now no one gets the prize. Happy. Yeah, now no one gets the painted men. Were they the prize? Oh. Oh, that's Oh, my God. (laughs) That's fair. You want it. Fortunate. All right, so, yes, um... We have, um, Lysander is accompanying of evil vampire, um, uh, Grim Iron Beard just threw the doors open and let the Inquisition in to come fight people. Um, what the hell else happened? Why am I drawing a blank? Uh, Riley, where did you end up? Um, what was your character's last name? I remember, I was still, like, headed back towards... Yeah. Um, gosh, where am I? Wherever my character is currently is where I am. On the second floor, you're floating above the pool. Yeah, like, essentially, she's just going back when she found out. Oh. Big boy. (laughs) Come on, stop that, you piece of shit. There we go. Yeah, so she didn't want to... 
she got mad at you when you wouldn't fight, and you just were like, cool, this is dumb. We're dumb. Yeah, pretty much, because I just want to know who wrote this note. I'm trying to figure that out. It was it's a bunch of crazy garbage happening, so it's a bit difficult, but you mm-hmm. know. No, it's true. I think I'm hiding by the door. Like, near a table. A drawer near a table. Yeah, like the door. Yeah, we, um... You helped her and then went downstairs, and then you talked with the the, the Grim Iron Beard. Yeah. Is that you crunching chips still? <laughs> Somebody's crunching chips, I'll find you. Um... <laughs> Probably the person making the chewing motions. Well, Josh and Tristan both have chips, so it's hard to tell who was doing it. I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, not chips, but Twix. Yeah, okay. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. People are all over the place. Things are happening. Uh, we caught back on the game already in action. And, uh... Dogs rush into the dining room, the ballroom. They eat, uh... Crap, what was her name? I don't ever remember her name either. She's um, not She's not Horace. Sylvia she's Plath? No. Iris Wright. Iris Wright, yes, thank you. Yep, the dogs uh, and Iris Wright. Um, Squid, you had previously said you didn't want to uh, work with the Black Ember. Is that still what's happening? Yeah, she's waiting for the, um... The fallout, and she's gonna start healing anybody that needs help. Oh, oh! Well, I mean, on the plus side, um, Iris Wright is you know dying, bleeding out in front of you, um, being mauled by dogs. That seems like a good place to start. You wanna you wanna roll initiative? Yeah. Okay, um, Dan. I think you're nearby too, so you can make that happen yeah. if you're interested. Yes, please. Um. Tristan, your character is descending into the bowels of this building. Uh, cool. Leopold, you're floating above the pool, but you can like see into the downstairs through that broken glass. Um, they like they boarded it up a little bit, but not all the way. Um, and and obviously you can hear, you know, like the dogs and the screams. Um, mm-hmm. People like rushed out of that room in mass. So if you want to join in uh, too, you can. Um, um, most and, definitely. Yeah, and Josh, obviously, you are uh, you, you kind of started all this, so you're probably going to be here to finish it, too. Where's our uh, cool Pistolero dwarf? Mm, Hope he's Pistolero okay. I like dwarf. him. Yeah, what was the... I forget what the name of his weapons were. Uh, Pride and Glory. Or, no, Pride and... Pride and, Pride and Joy? Pride and Joy, yeah, but yeah. that was it, Pride and Joy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so anyone who wants to join in on the combat, basically everyone has the ability with the exception of uh, Tristan, because he's, he's removed to a different scene, uh, can go ahead and roll a d10, and you're going to subtract your dex modifier if you have one. Do I have? Take a look. What's up? Oh no, it closed out. Gosh darn it. Come back, character sheet. I need you. Stop. Oh wow, this is back from Dane and Sneak Bane. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we actually haven't done much with combat in yeah. this one. It's been fun though. Like yeah, it's, it's been a party. Oh it has uh, been. Where do, where do I see if I've got a, an, a modifier? Um. Well, let's see. Did we ever actually finish your character? We rolled everything. Hey, we did. Uh, so you have a dex of eleven. So no, you what? have a plus one to con. Riley's okay. All right. fast. I think, you, I think you should I got something for strength too, but maybe it's because you're not a fighter uh, that you don't. Oh, I, I think I see where this is, this modifier thing is. Okay, yep. Yeah, so it's just a straight D10. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Riley, that's really okay. good. Oh yeah. We pulled. Uh, squid. You're Gwyn. Right. Yes. Okay. Why is um. I don't remember the name of my dude, so we're just calling him Hooknose. Dogs. Uh, Dan is Win. And Grim. How many M's? Two. Yeah, okay, got it. Leopold, you got a one, you're first. Uh, Gwen, you got an eight. You do 
bottom hook nose got an eight as well dogs got a seven grim also a seven uh, players first and win Oh no, wait, I messed that up. Josh got a three. There we go. Win seven players first. Stop that. Do, 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 okay. Do. Um, and then, so I don't forget, even though I don't usually. Lysander will put you at the bottom. Um, Makes sense. Yeah. We, we won't probably do something for you every round because your more time is passing with you as you're kind of walking towards the place. Mm -hmm. But um, definitely, we want to check in and see what's going on. Yeah, I hope she does okay. As does uh, Mr. Pistolero, man. I like them. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Leopold, first to act. Um, you are already like you know basically ready to do combat and combat things. Um, mm -hmm. You were kind of fluttering. Your senses sort of dulling and returning to the normal levels of like, you know, excitement and intrigue. Um, what what like turned your attention this way? Well, I'm thinking clearly the dogs and the screaming. Mm. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That's that's typically not a normal party. At least none that I typically go to. Well, that's usually the end of the party for you, right? <laughs> yeah, it's still early, like. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that would definitely take my attention. So I would like to, gosh, is there like a little space? Th the, the window's out. I could just go through the window. Correct. You could. Yeah. I could just go through the window. Okay. So you're going to, you're going to do the thing? Yeah, I'm going to do the thing. Okay. Yeah. You fly in, right? Rushing, uh, feeling mm -hmm. the wind against your hair and, uh, the excitement of, uh, fresh combat. What do you use as a weapon? I use a mace. You use a mace. Uh, have you drawn it? Uh, hell yeah! I'm gonna go beat me some dogs. Okay. So, <laughs> um, where do you wanna where do you wanna land? Because like you can do the whole flying thing, and you have a lot of movement here. So like, what's uh? Um. Well, I guess as I go in, where do I see these dogs? Um, there are dogs. I thought I put them on. The... Oh, they're just down there still. Sorry. Um, they have all moved in one, two, three. That one's on top of the other one. That's not what I went to do. Let me zoom in a little. I also think we're currently on the second floor. Oh, yeah, yeah move the players. Shit. My nope. Bad. No. My bad. There's a million maps, and I. You think I forget how to play between every uh every game? Um. This should be you, Riley, right? Oh yeah, that's me. Okay. Um, yeah, so dogs right there. Um, this is still, uh, not Mercy, what the hell was her name? Uh, Tragedy. And then that's Gwen, and that's Igden the Loon, and this is you, and Lysander's off doing Lysander things. I'm over on the stairs. And this was What's over. Tragedy doing? Just chilling at the table, like, just another day. Um, <laughs> she is yeah she's about halfway through casting a spell of some kind all right josh was this one you down here yeah i'm way down at the bottom okay yeah i just gotta find a, a um figure for it for a dude am i spelling mercenary wrong i mean it vanishes but yeah, that... Is that better? Yeah, so you see dogs, three dogs, one, two, three. Right. The dogs are on our side too, right? What's that? The dogs are on our side too, right? Well, what side are you on? Inquisition. Uh, yes, yeah, so the dogs are on your side. Yeah. Oh, that's a good hawk nose, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. See, the thing that I'm supposed to do is listen to the podcast before uh, each game, so I remember the dumb accents I use for these, and now I, I don't, so I just I get to make it up again. Ooh, dumb accents. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do, right. Does the mage even... 
Uh, I'm headed towards those dogs because they're attacking somebody, right? Oh, it seems yes. to be the only hostile I see in the area. True enough. <laughs> Poor Iris. Okay. Um, you hit the ground. You, I'm going to say you land there because you haven't specified exactly. You land there, and right as you get you know, about a foot away from the ground, the, the winged boots, um, oh. you, the power of flight, um, vanishes from them immediately, <laughs> and you are yes. drawn towards the ground with incredible force and then you hit and you do like this really like deep legged slide and you slip forwards and you're like I didn't mean to do that and then you break out and just start doing uh, the thriller dance like <laughs> the thriller uh, dance yeah slowly and methodically towards the uh, the dogs but you are not entirely <laughs> under control of your own uh, the boots were triggered the boots were triggered Mom, I must dance yeah <laughs> that whole time when she was like swinging at you and swearing and threatening to kill you, you refused to go into combat initiative order, so I couldn't actually trigger the boots. <laughs> they trigger on combat. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah, it was really That's good. That's funny. <laughs> that. Oh god. Yeah, it dancing was, on a platform. Yeah, it was. It was pretty good. I was. I was honestly impressed that you managed to uh, avoid it entirely. <laughs> All right, oh, so this great initiative. Yeah, you are you are basically um, dancing as, as a full route action. There is there is nothing else you can do right now, and uh, we good. we are going to pass your turn uh, to Grim. So if I go in here and follow the dogs, do I know if this is the woman we're after? Um, yeah, it specifically states you are going after a man named, um, uh, Lord Valdammer. I'm trying to remember his first name, and it's not coming oh, to me, go. so hold on. So, this is not the person you were sent here to kill. Okay. Um, how acceptable are collateral casualties? Like, are you gonna get in trouble for this? Yeah. If mm -hmm. I take her out... It, it, is she try like? Does it look like she's gonna fight us? It looks like she just got raffle stomped by three dogs. Isn't that my icon? Yeah, there's squid there, but then oh. there's yeah, but they're not also attacking. Idris. They're not attacking her. I just didn't give everything an icon because the battlefield is hard enough to keep track of. Right. Uh, I'm gonna shout at her to stay down, I guess. And, like, maybe half call the dogs <laughs> off, like, if you knock it off. Getting mauled by dogs. You know, Stupid uh, dogs. Stop. Have the halberd, like, pointed at her, so she, like, starts doing magical hand maneuvers. I'm trying to, like, slap her with the flat of it. Okay, so you just move, move up, but you don't, you don't engage anymore. Yeah. Than that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass her. All right, uh, Win. You are also on the ground floor. Yes. So I don't see my token. Yeah, we uh, might not have given you one. Hold on. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was on the second floor. Hi. You had one briefly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You you got a lady to decapitate a corpse. So that's true. That did happen. Inexplicably. Anything will do that. Yeah, I'm I'm grabbing yours. It just it wouldn't let me draw it off the character sheet because roll twenty is dumb. Um, okay, that should be you. Okay, yes. So I was actually over here at the door. Oh, that's not uh, what I wanted. Yeah. So I was there. Um, I'm gonna run. I see the dogs attacking. Uh, they run by me. Mm -hmm. uh, as I'm hiding hiding behind a table <laughs> as they uh, as they ran by uh, and uh, I'm just happy that it's not a not a vampire or a swarm of bats and uh, <laughs> finally so, something I can actually attack the vampire's right, fine yeah. so uh, I think I run up and I see that they're attacking her and I want to uh, at least distract them uh, so I think I'm going to go up behind um, have my mace ready, mm -hmm. um, and uh, just let out it. Let out a yell, hey, and like try to get the dog's attention. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah. Um. So you want to draw some aggro? Yeah, I do. Shut the fuck up. Not you. This thing. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> do you have uh, handle animal? Do you have any animal related non weapon proficiency? Let me take a look at what I did many a um, time ago. Yeah. Uh. See here. <clears throat> Uh, I'm not seeing anything like that. It's possible we didn't give you anything. Go ahead and just roll against uh, charisma or wisdom, what whatever you like, prefer. Well, like, what about like intimidation, like you know that sort of thing? Like, would that be something that would be yeah. applicable or not? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, um, roll against, you say... Yeah, well, do you have do you have intimidation? I, sh I just say things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you have intimidation. Yeah, you can go... So, yeah, so it'll, it'll roll against charisma. Okay. Okay. Character sheet pulled up. So, just roll... Yeah, it'll be a d20, or um, you can just click the little the thing. Yeah, I'm not seeing a little thing, so... If you scroll down to where your non-weapon proficiencies are, you have Intimidation as the first one, there's a die right next to it, you can just click that. Just like I did there, and it'll do the thing. Oh yeah, boom. Okay, there. Nice. Okay. Cool, so both of us got, got failures with that. Um, so yeah, you yell out, right? You, you're big, you're intimidating, um, but these dogs are like trained for this kind of thing. Until they are told right. explicitly to stop what they're doing, they will continue doing it, even if you like swing in and attack them. So one of them just growls okay. menacingly at, it, at you. So, so is that my action, or do I get to make an actual action now? Um, because you tried to influence the battlefield with a skill, yes, that was your action. Okay, sure. So we're going to pass that along. That, uh, yeah, pass that. And now we've got some doggos. Hold on. Got a fine dog stat block. Oh, uh, not that one. Not even that one. Ooh, one of these is called Space Dogs. That was not the one I used last time. But now I wish it was. They're like dogs. But in space? Use Space Dogs. Yeah, use the Space Dogs. They're nice. Okay. War dog. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're actually not even that good. They just, you know, both hit two out of three attacks on on the, you know, wizard, so. Um one of them keeps up attacking her. <laughs> oh. Uh yeah. Uh, Iris Wright passes from this life into the next one. I'll bring her back. Yeah, and it just starts dragging her away into the corner to enjoy its meal. Um, the other two turn on uh, the the failed intimidation attempt uh, Wynn gave them. Uh, Wynn, what is your AC? Did we did we figure that out for you? Uh, I. Yeah. It's a four. Did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty good. So I need a fifteen or higher on, on the D twenty. Uh, so neither of them get you. Is that you, like, putting your mace in between their teeth and yourself, or is that you just kind of, you know, backhanding them away as a, you know, large man? Um, yeah, I think I think I'm just he's so big that uh, he kind of just, like, as they go to one, she just kind of, like, takes his hand and, like, palms, like, the top of their head and just, like, shoves them away. Yeah. No, I like it. Okay, cool. Um... From there, um, hook nose, yeah. So Josh, you were the uh, executioner, right? Correct. Okay. And then along with that, you had the mage slayer. And what was the third member <clears throat> of your party? Do you remember? Uh, no, I have to look through text. It's either the spy or the justicar. I'm, I'm mixing my game up a little. Um, yeah, I don't remember a spy anywhere. Okay, that's yeah, so I think it was the Justicar. Um, so Hooknose slides up 
and he, uh, God, I wish that would stop. Yeah, he sort of takes in the battlefield. Squid, did you, like, make yourself kind of less of a target? Are you looking like just a, a rich noble who's very confused right now, or do you look like you're going to jump in and start helping people? Uh, she is ready to jump in and start helping people. Okay. Yeah, I think he looks at you. Um, he hasn't engaged with you yet, but he does that, like, you know, um, caretaker or, like, uh, you know, when you're you're the junior to his senior. And he's, like, gives you one of those as he's just kind of elegantly strides forward for being, like, an ugly and sort of uh, a rough-looking man, right? Walks forwards and uh, pulls out a vicious dagger and stabs Wynn directly in the back. Um, and we decided your AC was four, which means he yeah. needs a 12 or higher to... Uh, no, sorry, an 11 or higher, because this is a magical dagger. But he doesn't get it. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> high or low, Dan? Hi. Okay. Um, you grabbed one of the dogs out of the air and thrust it, and he just came right down and impaled one of the dogs in just like a vicious howl. But I didn't. Oh, I didn't want to hurt the dog. Well, you know, yes. sometimes it happens. <laughs> Fine. Is uh, Hooknell from the Inquisition? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely from the Inquisition. Alright, uh, Gordon would be easily recognizable as a member of the church. Yeah, um, he has uh, he has uh, rules to follow here. He is here to to kill one person in particular and not let anyone get in the way. It's your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, she is staying out of the way and looking for people that need help. I mean, the Inquisition could use help right now. Pays pretty good. No, no bites. Okay. All right. So you just holding your action, Squid? Yeah, for now. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Lysander. Making my way downtown. Yeah. Following the vampire. Yeah, you are descending into the, the basement stairs. Um, cool. Which I ever so smartly did not load into Roll20 at any point in the last month, so. Nice. Yeah, we, we did it. We did the thing. Um, nice. You are with the vampire, mm -hmm. his immediate associate, mm -hmm. and I think one guard that had mind control? The yeah, the guard that he has mind controlled that I insulted his family, uh, called his childhood farm gross, uh, <laughs> and then he hit me in the face with a blackjack through the window. Yeah, so you guys, you guys have a complicated relationship, to say the least. Yeah, you know, I like to think that from rough beginnings, the most beautiful of friendships can blossom. Mm. Mm -hmm. Also, at this point, he might just be dead. I'm not sure how this whole undead thing works. Um, my current knowledge is there's a vampire. Uh, if I work with him, I don't die. So that's yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Iris seems super dead, so I kind of owe her. <laughs> uh, but I have scrolls that can let me. She she wouldn't mind coming back as like a a werebear or something, right? Because I don't I can't really choose what she gets resurrected as. I mean, I think she'd probably be very upset with that, but she's... well, it's. <laughs> What's worse, that or being dead? Right, she doesn't have a lot of... Uh... Yeah, it's random, we'll see. Yeah. So later I'll help that out. For now, I'm going to faithfully follow the vampire's instructions as close as I can, because not doing that seems like a good way to get killed and or mind-controlled. True. Plus, the monk guy scares me, and I also need to keep my thoughts careful, because the vampire reads them at all times... Le like less for I'm not planning betrayal or anything but more just because he's already not happy about some of the thoughts I've been thinking that's true yeah it's good though and I still haven't gotten to spend any time in my guest cottage mm -hmm. 
I even was able to finagle a big one. Trying to do Didn't the find thing. The I don't know that it's working. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna move you over to another map that I'm doing a very great job of drawing right now. I'm proud I think of it you. It's beautiful. It's it's good. Yeah, I guess I have to move everyone over. That's annoying. Sorry, guys. You have to move it. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Here's a oh, really shoot. exciting map. No. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Lysander, where's your, where's your mini? Boom. Yeah, uh, nice. Human. Well, that's a human now. And sure. And so is that one. And yeah. finally... Vampire. Yeah. You know, some of the tokens on here are not great. Most of the tokens are pretty bad, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's, there's some free ones that are decent. Yeah. Actually, that one's a good one. This is actual D and D art. Ooh, of a uh, oh no. Chain golem. Oh, I really hope that's friendly to the vampire. <laughs> You're funny. So Shit. you hit the bottom of the stairs. Um, you notice two things very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, one, there is a very large chain golem that is between you and your destination. Um, your destination. Mm -hmm. uh... Ooh, ooh, fancy chest. Yeah, this is this is your ooh. destination. This is nice. This is the vault. Come on, come on. Ooh. Um, Sadly, there's also a man in black that I probably can't see. Um. No, you can see him. You just don't. Oh. You just don't notice him quite as cool. And this will be sneak bang. Um, what? Yeah, it's not actually sneak bang. Uh, Damn it. Golem oh. that is quickly moving towards. Uh, oh, I have to help them, right? Um, this is the Black Ember, and he has Lord Veldammer, um, and Lord Veldammer is like, you know, on the ground, and the Black Ember has a as a dagger. Um, oh shit! In his chest right now. And he looks up, vampire. and he looks at you guys, and the vampire's like, We were gonna do that anyway. Okay, we want Veldammer dead. Yeah, but Sweet, there's... he seems like an asshole. Yeah, but there's a golem in your way. So what are you doing? Well, I'm... <laughs> I turn to my new vampire master and ask for instructions, uh, because he should know I'm a bit of a pansy and can't fight a giant golem made of chains. You look at him and say, what? I, th like, he's in my brain. He knows I'm not much of a fighter. Uh -oh. That's a giant golem made of chains that could probably kill me without a second thought. What does he want me to do? Yeah, he's like, get in there. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't... Alright, I guess I... Let me look at my spells real quick and see if anything's relevant. Mm -hmm. <sighs> A pokeball at it. Uh oh, I get. S uh, yeah, uh, I might have to use a sixth level spell because something tells me none of my current uh, spells would have any effect on this thing, and I don't think I can persuade it. So let me jump to sixth level spells real quick. Sorry, I should have gotten this prepared ahead of time. That's yeah, fine. I was wrong. I was dragging a little too. It happens. Because... Nothing spells. And I think it's... Alright, so... Six level spells, 220. And I'm guessing it's just from wizard spells? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Six level spells. Uh, oh. Okay. Um, oh, oh, this might actually work. Um, oh, okay. Um, I use one of my... Because you said I have four um, spell yeah. scrolls, right? Yeah. I'm going to use one of them to cast Bigby's Forceful Hand? Ooh, okay. Yeah. Um, what do you want to do with it? Bash it or smash uh, it? I want to, because it's... 
currently kind of, and there's like, these are walls off to the side here, right? Yeah. I want to try and like have the hand pin it up against one of that one wall that's close to it. Okay. Yeah. So you just want to, you just want to shove it. Shove it. And then if he's, it's able to get it pinned, like crush it a little if it can. Yeah. What level is that? Six? That is a six level spell. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right man-sized to gargantuan-sized. Yeah, I mean, this is a big fucker, so... How large can... is It can be up to 21 feet, so I want the hand to be as big as it can be in this space. Yeah, no, that's fine. The, it, the hand is big enough to push this thing. This thing's big, yeah. but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, Bigby's forceful hand. More powerful version of the interposing hand. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna say it's 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 about a good sixteen to eighteen feet. Um, okay. So you read the scroll. The hand comes flying mm -hmm. out of the mm -hmm. uh, uh, the scroll. Yep. Um, what does this thing? How much does this weigh? Yeah, I realized that. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I can only push it if it's. Uh, 500 pounds or less. Yeah, so this thing is, like, heavy iron, and it's mm -hmm. 12 feet tall. I don't, I don't know how to, uh... What would a, what would a human t be of 12 feet tall on average weigh? Alright, 12... I mean, yeah. a, a car, if we're looking, talking about like cars, cars are, like, a few thousand pounds each. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't... And, I yeah, don't so... Shiz, that this might not. Ugh, dang. So this will slow it down, I think. But yeah. I don't think it'll stop it. So so it's between five hundred and two thousand pounds, you'd think. Yeah. J five right, saying four K yeah. pounds, I I can see that. You know, Shiz. like this thing is definitely it's not solid, but like it's it's about twelve feet tall. It's it's definitely heavy, right? Um, yeah. So it's half movement at least. Yeah, I'm I'm good with calling it two thousand pounds, um, just for the sake of the spell. So it slows its speed down fifty percent. Um, All right. So this thing, where's its movement? Okay. Yeah. Um. So this thing's at half speed now. So it, it's going a little slower than you guys would at half speed. You guys are usually okay. um magic shoulder rubs. Ew. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. You figure you guys. Most of you guys are uh, speed twelve or thirteen. I think. Mhm. Mm um, I... And it's down to a five. Okay. So it can't move much. At least we can outmaneuver it pretty well. Run away! <laughs> uh, and so yeah, so that's something. Yeah. Okay. At least. Yeah, we will uh, pass the turn back to Leopold. I'll slip everyone back over to the thing. Uh, so Leopold, you're doing you're doing the dancing thing. Yeah, it's a party. Yeah, you uh, you have full narrative control over what spell you would like or what what uh, dance you'd like to be doing. Um, but let me see exactly what it's going to take you to break out of this. Gotta amputate the legs. <laughs> Might have to. And all seriousness, like, can you take off the boots? They're cursed boots. So now that That's the true. curse has been triggered, you cannot. Oh. <laughs> I remember that. I just didn't remember if they could be removed. So they could before the curse was actually happening. Right. But now that it's... What the fuck? What level was that? Um, I feel like I'm just breakdancing. I'm like, come on, guys, it's a party! Yeah, you're up on the table just, like, having a field day right now. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. I opened right to the page. Boots of Dancing. Expand to fit any sized foot. Dim magic. They appear to be a different boots and function like that until the wearer uh, enters combat. They impede movement, begin to tap, shuffle, heel toe, or shuffle off to buffalo, making the wearer behave as if Otto's irresistible dance had been cast on him. Um, oh, yep. Nope. Nope. You have a minus four penalty to AC, a minus six penalty to everything else. You cannot attack. And uh, there are ways to get the boots off, but curse to be fabulous. God damn it. Um... <laughs> worth it yeah someone i think other than you is gonna have to be the one to get them off you 
I don't think you have the means to do it yourself. <laughs> All right. So I'm just I'm just dancing, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, um, what's what's my friend uh, Tragedy doing? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah, she has finished her spell. Um, she seems to have opened a uh, golden gate, uh, like a dimension door, just like uh, oh, no. rips, right? Like like a tear of fabric um, into just like hanging in space, like a couple feet off of the ground. Um, and she looks at uh, Hook Nose and she's like, get him in here. Oh, oh, she's bad. Oh, <laughs> bummer. I liked her. <laughs> is she bad? I mean, I she seems to be working with the Inquisition, but everyone seems to want Valdemar dead. Yeah. <laughs> that I... is subjective. Man, I don't even know what I can do. I can just start shimmying my way over there. You just... <laughs> yeah, it's just like doing the electric slide, just sliding. Okay, so you're... you're Maybe you're... I'd do the worm a little bit, too. Oh, it's like, so yeah. good. Yeah, do the inchworm. That one's my favorite. All right, so your intention is to uh, to go through the portal? I don't know. I just... I'm like, a, lo a little help over here. Mm. I, I can't be busting these uh, sick dance moves all day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she looks at you. You were nice to her before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll a, uh, roll, roll a charisma with a, um, uh, a minus two to the roll, because you're looking to roll under. Right, charisma minus a two. Yeah. Uh, does the button work? That's the question. Hmm. Depends on if I put the macro in or not. There is no button. No. Nailed right. it. Cool. Oh yeah. So cool. Yeah, so cool. Alright. Um, I have a seventeen at charisma, so Oh, nice. So you made it. Yeah. Um so that's she, even without the minus two. Yeah, she looks at you and she looks at your boots. She sort of, like, smiles, you know, this, like, vicious, um, half, you know, joking smile. She says, uh, you didn't know those, that's what those were, did you? I mean, I couldn't help it. It just sounded so much fun. <laughs> she says, I understand. She goes, removing curses, that's not my specialty, but I have people that can help. <laughs> All right, I'm, I think I'm like pumping my fist now. It's like <laughs> that sounds great, you know. I'd lo I'd love to meet them. <laughs> um, she leans in, and in a very serious uh, moment, punctuated uh, comically only by both of her slug eyes, right, coming oh. out of her eye and getting very, <laughs> very uncomfortably close to you, like I did to Tristan earlier today. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. that was fun. <laughs> Don't say that. That's weird. <laughs> she says, uh, but I'm going to need you to swear on the book. What book? A book. A, a, what book? Uh, go ahead and roll me um, 4d6. <laughs> 4d6. Mm -hmm. Wait, you said 4d6, right? 4d6. Not 46, right. but... <laughs> Wait. There's only 24 books in this world. Like this, right? <laughs> oh, it didn't work, damn. Yes, that is correct. So okay. 6, 2, 1, 2. So. Oh, that's so good. Um, so I've changed over. Um, we, now is not the time to get into it, but I've changed over some of my uh, supplemental books that I use to just like add flavor into the games. Um, we, are, we are now on the, the Blades in the Dark Life. And I needed, I needed her weird dark pact to like have some flavor um and since you're like the first person who's now like i'm gonna need your help and she's like my help comes at a very steep cost and you're like i'll pay anything she's like not like that <laughs> um so the forgotten god that she works for is known as the guardian of the gates which 
pretty fitting based on what just happened. Um, they they are working uh, to destroy um, a faction that used to be part of them and then splintered off. Um, that their that is their only goal. That it is not to further the cause. It is not to bring riches and glory. It is literally to kill these assholes that used to be like them and now they're not. Just murder. Just kill people. Just <laughs> we gotta kill people. I mean, if that's all all I need to do, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, kill without without consequence. Yeah. Or at least other than you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Be in danger. Yeah. 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 Okay. That sounds cool. Promising. So so you you are you accept this uh, this little deal with the guardian of the gate. If that's all I have to do, yeah. No, you're good, man. Guardian of the gate. No, no fine print. I oh, squint real hard. I, yes, there's a ton of fine print. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know that we have enough time to get into that though. But yes. So before <laughs> before you jump through the gate, um, she is she will she has marked you as an ally, which means you can use the the gate that she's summoned now. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, you you can, you'll get a little sneak peek before you, you finish your way through. Um, so we'll pass cool. we'll pass that along to to Grim. Grim, what are you what are you up to? What's going on, man? What's the plan here? So, <clears throat> this guy over here is getting the crab beaten out of him by my friend. Is that uh, right? Uh, I mean, your friend missed his attack. Yeah, I'm about to. It looks okay. like. Yeah. Okay. A, a dog got stabbed. <laughs> that is true. I'm going to intervene here like you know officially call the dogs off on him and you know get the halberd in between the actual human and this guy and be like whoa 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 like maybe he knows where Valdamer is or something like we don't have to wait for this guy right now like hmm. he could help us I don't know maybe he's working for him but uh we don't need to kill him we just gotta kill the other guy gotcha okay yeah, the dogs all at once um, sit. They're growling, right? They're mad. They're angry. But uh, yeah, they they hold back. Did the one die, or is it still just yeah, there? Yeah, no, no, it's, 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 it's dead. Um, rest and pepperoni. <laughs> Oof, rest and pepperoni. Oh. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec. I gotta cool myself. Right. It was a dog that was gonna murder you. Yeah. All right, when. <laughs> He right, he says so, he, I'm I'm imagining he says that right like this guy might right, be able to help he might know where Veldammer is and he's still like right. we will fight you but the dogs are gonna back off for a second right so basically I'm looking around and I notice that the only other biggest guy in the room is kind of on my side uh, and I like that math mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> so uh, I I decide that even though I don't really know anything about this. Lord Eldamer or where he could be or anything like that. Uh, they don't need to know that. <laughs> like uh, he's either up or down, and I've been up. Right, exactly. So uh, I'm I'm basically just going to say, well, uh, I've been looking for him too, and uh, he's not upstairs. Uh, we we could all go down together and see if we can scout him out. Yeah. Way to be a narc. Yeah, and Hook knows is like, <laughs> if you're lying to us, you won't be coming back up. And I say, well, I've got nothing to gain by lying. He nods and once. Gotta... He's like, show me the stairs then. All right. So um, I, let me let me just uh, just just kind of say uh, I've seen the stairs down. That's because I've seen the stairs up. But I, have I seen the stairs down? Yeah, they were uh, just on the other side. So um, I actually think I, Riley's I got it right. Sure. I think that's the one. Okay, it's definitely mm-hmm. one of those two. Yeah. Okay. It's, I wasn't sure it's it was the one I'm on. Okay. Uh, so since I've, I've seen that, um, I, uh, I I'd say, well, of course, uh, you know, uh, follow me, uh, and uh, we head over to the staircase. Okay. And I and I, I actually stop and I say. Uh, you know, I haven't been down there. Maybe we should bring the dogs too. 
yeah, Hook, Hook knows just, you know, I can't actually do that one, but he puts his fingers to his mouth and does the whistle. And they just, they come. Really, Dan? Way, way to be. Somebody has to. Way to, way to, way to be alive? Yes. <laughs> you don't have to bring the damn dogs! <laughs> so, yeah, They're gonna try and kill me now! We're gonna make our way, making our way downstairs. Yeah, I like that. <sighs> Hold on, I gotta find a crying emoji. <laughs> God damn it, Dan. Hey, I didn't start it. I just kept it going. Yeah, you just said, oh, well, I've checked upstairs, and it's not like there's multiple rooms on this floor, so let's now go downstairs. Oh, and bring the backup. Yeah, and the backup backup. Listen. And, yeah. How about you bring as many people as you can, so it's not like, if there's nothing down there, I'm not as outnumbered. Well, yeah, I mean, I like my odds better this way. Think that's Gwen, Gwen is gonna follow. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Your odds are... are you just you just going along for the ride, Squid? No, you. God, oh, shit, God dang it! The whole world moves, right? Mm -hmm. At this point, can can tragedy just pick up Riley and just everyone trundles <laughs> on down? We can have a basement party. Yeah, we're just everyone is just suddenly downstairs with no. All right, everyone to the basement. Yeah, just every, everyone just go runs down the basement, the world's smallest map where everything has coalesced. I moonwalk you know down what? the steps. <laughs> uh, At good. this point, I screw it. Let's just get everyone down there. Let's get the lady who was killing everyone. Let's get Pistolero Man. <laughs> Let's get all the living waiters. Um, Igden. Igden. Igden's gotta go too. Ig oh, Igden. Igden, you know? Igden definitely <laughs> needs to come downstairs. Come on, he's Igden. Dead yet. Join in the party. Just get everyone still alive. It's just like, oh, everyone's heading to the basement. Maybe this is all part of the party. There's a nice random nobles down there. There's the the dog that has uh, what's her face's corpse drags her down to follow. <laughs> it doesn't Iris leave its Wright dinner. joins. Oh. That's so good, yeah. Yeah, we don't want to leave yeah, any well, it spirit. doesn't want to leave its dinner. Yeah, we don't so want to leave anyone behind. Upstairs. <laughs> oh my god, that's so dumb. Okay. Everyone's right. body flopping C downstairs. Case in point, the whole room moves downstairs. We got it. Lysander. <laughs> um, the golem... So you were... Where were you keeping it from? Because you, you summoned the hand. Did you just want to push I, it this way into I the wall? I wanted to push it... Uh, I'm still on the first floor. My my visual is <sighs> yeah, okay. down to the base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Roll I wanted sucks. it to uh... be uh, like pushed against one of these two edge walls, yeah. so there would be space in the middle here for us to traverse. Mm -hmm. I yeah. didn't care which wall. Yeah, I just wanted it out of the way. Right. So you pushed it against that wall, and it moved past the hand into here, um, and oh. it. Uh... Oh. Has a Thacko of seven, and Black Amber has a zero. So this thing needs a seven or higher. Okay, so it only gets one. Okay. Uh, it's. No, sorry. It's not fighting us. Maybe, maybe that guy will help kill it. Okay. Um. So this thing slams down to like you know hammer fists, uh, covered in chains. And uh, one of them, one of them goes too wide as the black amber sort of like ducks and dodges against the way. But the other one, when it hits the ground, it turns like very mechanically, just slams it against the wall. And all of the chains, right? They don't even like tangle him up. They don't like lash out at him. They're just literally draped over him, and a bolt of electricity fires down from the center of the chest and electrifies like the whole like Faraday cage um, around oh. black amber, dealing seventeen points of damage. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, Black Ember will strike twice. Uh, uh, and Veldammer's still alive in all this? 13 or higher. He gets zero. Um, Veldammer seems to be foaming at the mouth um, as if he's been poisoned. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. 
Um, what do you want to do? You have to continue the concentration, but you can move around if you want. Uh, what was that about? I You cut out. You could move around if you wanted, but you have to keep the concentration okay. up. Okay, so I can't uh, use another scroll. I need to keep the hand. I need to concentrate for the hand. Yeah. All right. Um, I I guess I kind of want to move a little closer because there's like these walls kind of coming in, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I want to kind of go crouched so I can sort of duck behind the wall but still be keeping my concentration. Um, yeah, you're kind of peeking turn- around a little. Yeah, and I, I turn, or I guess think to the vampire, because honestly, he if he's in my head, uh, think, we want to let these guys duke it out and tire each other out so we uh, preserve our strength for whatever remains. Um, yeah, you hear back telepathically in his head. He's like, uh, I care not if he dies. If his corpse yeah. is truly interesting, we'll bring it back, yes? Yeah, good call. I'll continue holding the corpse away, and it will only be able to move towards us much slower and only after it's dealt with him if and if he kills it then hey look my hand holds him and shoves him against the wall Veldammer looks like he's dying this is a good situation we get whatever's in the loot why didn't we join the enemies the first time around this is way easier I don't think this guy's the enemies he's killed one guy what's her face killed like seven that's true like this is like one of the less least bad dudes here. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I'm gonna kind of remain around this wall. Uh, I don't suppose I'd be able to draw a weapon while maintaining concentration, just in case something happens. Yeah, you can. All right, I'll switch concentrating with my. Uh, uh, no, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll draw my rapier with my le- my uh, left hand. And have it at the ready while maintaining concentration with my right. right. If I need to have a handout, I don't know. Uh, Leopold, did you go down the stairs? <laughs> did I go down the stairs? <laughs> I mean, what is tragedy just kind of like sitting there, just watching everyone? Yeah, just go she, down the stairs waiting? Yeah, um, she's like, hurry up, I'm not holding this gate all day. And she's like, you know, chanting and muttering, you know, in tongues. Alright. Alright, I'll be right back. It's <laughs> kind of like... <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah, so Can't you're... Can't do anything. Yeah, you're, I'm just like, dancing. You're, you're, just, you're just along for the ride. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on Josh. We'll give him his turn in a minute. Um, so when you yeah, um, there's there's something that happens between here and there, right? The stairs don't immediately just deposit twenty feet away from you know the vault, right? Like you go down the stairs, you hit uh, a corridor. You go down the corridor, you turn another set of stairs. Normally there'd be guards or something. They seem to have been killed at some point. Uh, not a lot of blood, interestingly enough, but, you know, whatever. Probably Wild. probably not your business whatsoever. Um, you know, take another stairway, drop down, and, yeah, uh, lo and behold, there is a massive golem, um, you know, big metal fists, a double set of, like, you know, pinchy, grabby arms underneath that, covered in chains, um, and it seems to be fighting someone off in the corner. Um, and there's, like... 12 people down here, all just sort of staring on, no one actually <laughs> helping. I have a hand on the golem, pushing it towards the guy he's attacking. Yeah. So, I think... Hey, Wynn! As, as, exper- as, like, I see, yeah, I, I see, uh, Lysander over there. Hi! Uh, and I'm a bit, I'm a bit confused to see him, but what I'm more confused about is seeing this, this vampire there. Uh, because you recognize him. We, we had we had a previous engagement that he kind of dipped out on, <laughs> and uh, I uh, immediately I, I catch sight of that. Yeah, uh, I I just kind of glare at him, like I look at him, and I'm, now, and I just like run at him at the I go to attack him. Yeah, no, I love it. Okay, cool. Let me. Wait, let what me, are you doing? Let me find his. Uh, It sounds like there's a basement party and we all accept our invitations. Yes, everyone accepted <laughs> the invitation. 
Hold on, I gotta find the. How come uh, I'm the only one dancing at this party? <laughs> That's true. That's a good question. I, can I can I can I shuffle a little <laughs> bit uh, while holding concentration and holding a sword? Yeah, you can make it look good. <laughs> I I do have a proficiency in dance, and I'm wearing dancing shoes. That's true. You get a plus one to so your charisma when you're dancing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I except, thought it was plus two to Dex when dancing. I don't remember, man. It's It's been a long the, game. Yeah, um, yes. Uh, Dan, you want to go ahead and roll your attack? Sure. Um, do you do we have your Thacko figured out? I think we did that as well, yeah. Uh, let's see. So when you've got a Thacko down here, 15. Um, Vampire has an AC of zero, so you're just looking for a 15 on the die. Oh, excuse me, I apologize. I'm clicking on it, and I click on uh, where it says hit. You might be able to do that. You can also just roll a d20. Yeah. And, and look uh, to uh, get a 15 or higher. Okay, we're all we'll do that. Oh. Alright, so you swing, and the vampire turns and his eyes flash right and the guard just like you know unwillingly throws his arms in front of it and you just bash them and there's just this sickening crack as he like leaps in front of his master um roll damage yeah yeah go ahead and he turns and he looks at you and he's like not so easy no you've entered my realm wait there's don't no break my son new friend's here arms. that can save you that is just a decent. Win, don't break my two. new friend's arms. So is it plus two is a six? Uh, yes. Yep. Alright. Uh, let me keep a little. Uh, I'm going to write that. Sorry. Gotta keep vampire HP. Uh, okay. okay. Alright, cool. Um, so you made your attack, you moved, you're all set, right? Yep. Um, both dogs are also going to attack at the vampire. Um, man, one of them gets super close, but it's not quite enough. Uh, what did they need? They needed a 19. Oof. For him. Uh, yeah. Grim. You came down the stairs. Um, yeah. This guy, who was like, yep, I can help you find the Lord Valdammer. I know he's not upstairs. He has to be down here. Let me lead you. And, uh, you know, about a minute later, you poured out into this basement and entered quite a quite a scene. Um, not least of all, a uh, vampire with an entourage in tow um, letting uh, this doodly over here, who you may recognize. Uh, do you have uh, religion? I uh, do not. Okay. Uh, you can roll, um, but you won't have any contacts. Is that intelligence from us? Yeah, intelligence or wisdom. Uh, that's under my wisdom by two. Okay. Yeah, um, you, you recognize, like, a pale, um, sigil... Uh, of one of the churches of Palor, but you don't know like specifically what or where on this guy. But you're also like he doesn't look like any churchgoer that I'm used to. Okay. Uh, this is definitely a vampire down here. Yeah this this outstretched arm okay. dude, 100 percent vampire. Uh, okay. Pale skin, uh, right like <clears throat> ivory white with just like blood pouring down his face. Double set of uh, canines. Long, like, lacquered black fingernails. Nice. Um, so as he says, I'm like, ah, oh, no one will save you. I'm going to barrel down the stairs, like, I'll save you, and just yeet my halberd into him. <laughs> yeet my halberd. <laughs> uh, yeah. Got a AC of zero. Oh, you got a crit fail, so... Oh, oh no! 
I'm like, geez, I don't know if I did the math right. <laughs> I'll save you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. So, so you sw- swing and a miss. Um, we're not we're not getting any crazy punishing crit fail rules. Um, so we're just gonna pass it along to the hook nose who's got a knife, um, and he's also like, well, I really need the Lord Veldammer killed, and that seems to be what's happening. But I can't really abide a vampire either. Um, he's got seventeen, sixteen. Nope. Okay, nobody can hit this vampire. So. <laughs> Seems fine. Gwen. There's an undead here. Um she can see her fellow chlorine being um attacked by the goal, right? Uh yes, one one hundred percent. Okay, so she's gonna ignore the vampire right now and she's gonna cast heat metal on the chain golem. Ooh. Nice. I like that. Um yeah. Is that is that a touch spell? Uh, it says range forty feet. Oh, nice, excellent. Okay, um, yeah, that's actually like forty yards. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's good. Dog. Um, do you have Arcana trained or not Arcana religion? I do. Okay, go ahead and roll that. Um, mm-hmm. What level is heat spell or heat metal? Sorry, level two. Okay, okay. You know, um, by looking at this thing, um, it's probably got some magical resistances. Um, divine magic certainly better than arcane. Um, if you cast at a higher level, it is uh, more likely to succeed. So, do you want to bump that spell level? Level three. Level three. Okay. Um, so it's gonna have, um, it's got a 20% chance you want high or low. Low. Okay, low's bad things. Okay. So, unfortunately, you, you know, like, you do all the incantations, you breathe life into this spell and flash out, right? Um, and as this, like, you know, corona of heat comes towards this thing, the, the back hatch on this thing just, like, spills open and um everyone who's down there can roll a uh, wisdom perception check um squid you're gonna get a minus two to it because you because you you were like the one casting this spell you're like specifically looking at what's happening here okay do you make that squid yeah, okay. I have no clue. Yeah, Dan, okay. Dan, I can't imagine you do. Riley, it's got to be close, but... I have 16 minutes. Okay. And Tristan, do you, do you make it? I, I have no clue what's happening. I'm just okay. holding a sword in one hand and a hand in the other. Yeah, okay, so the two of you that see that, um, there's just a brief flash from when this, like, heat metal energy, the spell that's being cast, is, uh, is absorbed by the creature, um, where you see just, like, a tangle of like burnt bones wrapped in um like prayer strips and seals that are like almost hanging like on a coat rack inside of this thing um like it is not powered just by arcane this is like a terribly evil relic oh lovely Ooh. Hmm. I think my, I dance my way up the stairs a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get in here, everyone. It's a party. <laughs> um, Squid, do you want to do anything else? That takes a full action, right? Yeah, you could basically you could move, or you like yell out to someone if you wanted to. Whoa! Mm-hmm. 
All right, I'm all set for now. Okay. Um, Lysander, now! Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm feeling my Horn of the Tritons isn't going to do anything to help here. Mm -hmm. Um, Would I be able to uh, drop the hand and cast another spell? Yes. Or would yep. dropping the hand be an action? Nope, you can you can drop it for free, that's fine. Okay. Um, so do I know if like can can I figure out what uh the effect of if I were to attempt to cast disintegrate uh on this thing would be? Uh -huh. like would <laughs> If it worked? Mm-hmm. It would it would do lots of damage. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -uh. Okay. Also, another thing with this integrate, I'm just a little confused by it. It says any single creature can be affected, even to undead. Period. Non living matter up to a ten foot by ten foot by ten foot cube can be obliterated by the spell. Would this be considered non living matter, or would I have to target it as I would any other creature? Yeah, it's targeted as a creature. So it's non living matter in the sense that, like, yes, it is not alive. But it is okay. not unattended matter in the sense of disintegrate. I want to break a wall that's not alive. Oh, okay. yeah, gotcha. Yeah, that's the ten foot by ten foot by ten foot. Yeah. All right. Uh, how? What, what level how is disintegrate? Six. Yeah, you're getting how? a lot of use out of those. Yeah, I am. How tall did you say this thing was? Twelve feet. Shit. Uh, so even making a pit, it could still probably reach out. Mm. Uh. Yeah, and oh shit! At this point, I think that was a Johnny Five plan. Well, it was that was actually how to deal with uh, Riley dancing. I think, but I mean, <laughs> it was a good yeah. plan. What put, uh, what put me I in mean, the pit? Put you in the pit. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? I think it's it's worth an attempt at casting disintegrate on this thing. Yeah, because at the moment, this seems like the biggest, scariest thing. Everyone else re is relatively humanoid, and I can talk to with my human words. This thing just wants to probably murder everything that exists. Yeah. And I can't talk talk to it. So I want to cast Disintegrate and make it stop being. Yeah, true enough. Okay, um, um, it has some magical resistance, so I'm going to roll that first. Um, okay. And then... <sighs> And then it has to make a save versus spell. Okay. Um, Come on. Which is interesting because my stats block doesn't address that. I actually don't think any of them do. Okay. Which is weird. Would the fact that it is also not paying attention to me help at all? Mm -mm. It's just the Dang. spell goes off. Um, all right, so 25% chance, high or low? High. Right, so 76 and up is bad for you okay so this okay. that end of the spell succeeds it's it's general right. like magic turning does not just wish whisk this spell away um okay. now i have to figure out what it would roll it, it um spell creates a thin green ray that causes physical material touch to glow and vanish leaving traces of fine dust creatures that mm -hmm. successfully save versus a spell have avoided the ray and are not affected mm -hmm. the first creature or object struck uh, on, only the first creature or object struck can be affected. Um, okay. So if it fails its save... Would it then hit Veldammer? Because he's if it dodged, like, yeah. Yeah, and if, because... And if he dodges too, then it's going to go for the vault. Oh no! Hit, hit, hit. Why don't I have... I'm super confused as to why... Um, I'm gonna need that. Hold on, I'm sorry, I gotta pull out a different book. Because I've never actually ran into that. Like, if it was just a straight monster, mm -hmm. I would I would just, like, consult the... Shoot, sorry that I paused no. a weird... No, it's fine, it's it's cool. It's a good spell, it's the right move. Um, yeah, no, I, I realized, I know I found that after Bigby's Forceful Hand, because the alphabet. <laughs> you know, the alphabet. <laughs> the alphabet. Uh, I also probably rock some like I can I do this like disco dance move style. Oh yeah, you want oh, you yeah, want to join the dance it. party? Boom! Like <laughs> yeah, I like work this into a dance. Um, 
At this point, I've shot the ray, so I probably do like a cool little spin and then like a double finger guns, yeah. uh, which shoots a green ray, which either kills the big bad, kills the jerkwad who is thrown this whole party, or kills me because the vampire's mad. <laughs> Or maybe it just gets rid of the outside of the vault and the treasure's okay. Uh, it's probably not. <laughs> Doubt. Yeah, no. So this has like a two-thirds chance of working okay and a one-third of I'm very bad. Several of them dice. Or it works very good! Josh, can you try some Google Foo on this too and see if you can find anything? Yeah, what, what uh, platform? I'm trying to figure out if monsters in second edition get saving throws versus spell and breath weapon. Like, if the stats block doesn't include them. Okay. Okay. And they don't have saves as an X level Y somewhere written? No. Oh, uh, I think this is a... Um... Oh, uh, all creatures save versus... Yeah, save as an X level Y is written well, somewhere. Also, all creatures save as versus poison and death as level equals HD. Intelligent creatures save versus everything else as level equals HD. Non-intelligent creatures save versus everything else is half... Uh, is level equal half HD? <clears throat> okay, but what? So, but what creature? Um, um, is this or or what? Um, for creature, you would use a, a class. Well, what? What is HD? Hit dice. Hit dice. So, but, but is what, this do I, what do I compare it to? A cleric or a fighter or a rogue? It saves well, versus it. as its levels worth of hit dice, if that matters. Because so, if the creature has a level. And since this is intelligent versus spell, so it saves as it, something with however many hit dice equal to its level, I think? This is weird. Well, the saving throws are different based on classes. So. If, it's, if it doesn't specify in the creature block, um, then it's up to the DM. It's like a, a combat monster would be a warrior, spellcaster would be a wizard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, DM must determine whether the same. Blah, 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 blah. I I think it's just up to you because I am not finding anything that seems useful. <sighs> yeah, Specialization. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna pull one up. Um, Tristan, roll a D4. A D4. Yep. Two. Okay. Uh, character saving throws. Page one thirty-four. I hope two's good. Saving throw. It's going to be rogue. Rogue save versus spell on a creature with 13 hit dice is spell, 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 spell is a nine. So I saving need throws, to... I want to get above, um, right? I think so, yeah, because they go up as time goes on. So I need a one through nine. Come on, a one through nine. Holy Ooh. shit, look at that. Okay. <laughs> um, Johnny Five just asked, is smart enough to dodge? That That's what the saving throw is, is whether it has enough time to dodge or not. Um, oh so it doesn't, right? You you uh, you unfurl your scroll, right? You just summoned the, the, this hand out of it. And uh, funny enough, the disintegrate spell is one of the few things that can erase... A Bigsby's forceful hand like that, so that's why they're yeah. paired together, right, on the scroll, because yeah. it's like cause and effect. Yeah, and uh, you're like, oh, we can use that, right? And you just like recant the the powerful magics out of that thing, mm -hmm. um, and that whole section of the scroll just like breaks away, right? It just worth it, yeah, just vanishes, and just this streaking bolt of green energy flies out at this golem, and mm -hmm. it doesn't even have time to like turn around; it just is gone. Just instantly gone. Thank God. Yeah, and you have completely removed the threat of this evil, hateful golem creature okay. from this world. Am, am I allowed to talk now? Yes, can you, can you I can do talk. I have to... Okay, so I, I kind of like 
look around it as many people as I can. I'm in a somewhat central location. If I'm like right at the like the edge of that wall, because um, I probably had to move slightly to get a better shot of the golem. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, everyone, the golem's dead. Can we please talk this out like civilized, rational people? <laughs> to my knowledge, everyone wants Veldammer dead. Yeah. Let's just do that. I say the. I'm dead. Yeah, as I say, this isn't the greatest pitch you've heard, but you did also just see him use a very powerful spell to one shot that golem. <laughs> Which Let's pretty talk badass. it out, everyone. And I also I danced care. my way into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the vampire's going to turn, and he looks, and uh, he gaseous forms and slides over here, um, slipping into the cracks inside of the vault. Um, he's not gone completely yet, but he, that's definitely the move he's making. Um, Leopold, what are you doing? I mean, I gotta dance. <laughs> dance, man. I'm dancing. Can't I can't really attack or do spells, so. Yeah, yeah, you got you got the dance in you. Yeah. yeah All right, Wayne. What's the plan? Oh, let the I, damn guy go. I, I'm got tunnel tunnel vision right now. <laughs> uh. He, he, I'm I'm running running in, just jumping over the uh, the yeah. You just you vault right over him. <laughs> yeah, just the guy who's foaming at the mouth, just jump right over him. I don't care. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna try to try to Hulk out on and uh, see what this vault is about. See if there's a way to open it. He said that he's he's in the vault. He's he's partially in there. Um, you could attack him, but he's not. He 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 is uh he has gaseous form, so you would do limited damage. But you could also like break the vault open and 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 see what's going on in there. Mm. So he's already partially in. Yes, yeah, somewhat. Do can I make a check to see if I think he's stuck? Like he he's not stuck. In. He's just not fully in there yet. Okay. Well, if he's going to be in it. See, it's not worrying about him getting more easily. Um, you can either attack him and do limited damage, or you can just work on getting the vault open. Which would you prefer? I'll try to attack it. Okay, so go ahead and, and roll. You're looking to get a 15 on the die. If he gets in, like, he's in there, so what? Like, getting out with something is important. Mm-hmm. Um, Seal it in plastic. He can't get out. <laughs> Why do you need to mess with him? Okay, so you just... Right, you hit the locks and the door handles, but you don't actually hit him. Um, Inquisition dogs just start fighting, um, like, the, the guard and his little companion that the vampire brought with him. Uh, Grim, what is your plan here? Can I pull out a glass vial of holy water and chuck it like a grenade? Or I uh, guess move close and, like, pour it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can, you can just run up and bam, right? Like, um, just go ahead and... Okay, yeah, that yeah. I imagine that's enough, right? Because you're a straight fighter. Oh, that's true. I don't know. I have a 14 pack, though. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Um, yeah, so go ahead and deal um, 2d8 damage. And I'm going to I'm gonna roll just uh, high or low. God damn. Uh, low good things. <clears throat> okay. Yes. It does, no, that's bad for you. Um, it does not force him back into corporeal form. But he does take damage. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I'm good. Okay. Um, Hooknose is going to continue working on the guards. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so it's a hit. Um, we'll say he puts down the mind-controlled guard, so all that's left is the actual companion of the vampire.
after Hook knows it's Gwen. Gwen, there's an evil vampire here, and also um, Black Ember is wounded, and the Lord Veldammer has been poisoned. Lord Veldammer is what? Uh, been poisoned. Oh, What'd I okay. say? There you go. Yeah, so you've been cutting out a little. Oh, I don't know why it's giving me so much trouble. I'm sorry. Okay. I lost video on everybody now. Oh. Yeah, I think my internet's suddenly, like, dropping out pretty bad. Mm. Well, it's we're about to finish up, too. I just want to want to get through and figure out what everyone's doing. All right, uh, Gwen is going to rush forward and check on our buddy. Okay, so you're just going to heal hit the Black Ember? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, Lysander, this is this is the the final chance. You uh, you've been you haven't been mind controlled, mind controlled. You've been suggested, right? Um, mm -hmm. You're a powerful spellcaster. Mm -hmm. You've got some scrolls and stuff. Yep. Uh, your vampire lord, you're not sure exactly what his plan is, but he's definitely not helping you guys out a whole lot right now. At the moment, I think you're so. Like my current plan was, I wanted. My, my, I don't have many goals right now. I wanted the chain beast dead. He's now a pile of rust. It's whatever. Veldammer, who I think I wanted dead, seems to be lying on the floor, foaming his mouth, with a lot of people who want him dead around. Mm -hmm. So he's check. I kind of want to get rich. Vampire's doing... I want to survive, but that seems to be working. Now I just want everyone to calm the frick down. <laughs> okay. So... Using my own spell casting because that's a thing I can do. Um, so I, I think what ends up happening is I uh, probably as a part of my prior action, I've thrown my my rapier back in its thing. I pull out my fiddle to use as a spell casting focus because I think I need to do that. Mm -hmm. Start fiddling some good background music and cast friends. Oh shit. Um, that should be a saving throw versus spell for everyone, right? Well, for, it does a couple things. First, regardless of saving throws, um, I gain 2d4 temporary points of charisma. Ooh, okay, so go ahead and roll those. So... <laughs> so suddenly so, he's far more attractive. And so I gain five more points of charisma, so I have... What? How much charisma... Um, 23 charisma? Mm -hmm. My reaction to judgment is plus 12. My base loyalty is plus 18 for this. Uh, and they need to roll... Uh, yes, it's... Uh, yeah. uh, must make immediate reaction checks based on the character's new charisma. Yeah, I don't Those with favorable actions... Reactions tend to be very impressed with the spellcaster and make an effort to be his friend and help him. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is so ridiculous. Of course you did this. Yeah, hey. I saw friends. It's a spell. My friend. Everyone needs down. to calm down. I'm also, you know, I'm dancing while I'm doing it. I'm playing a rousing tune on the fiddle. I'm being magical. You're looking at me dancing. This guy gets it. Yeah, this, this guy, guy gets it. it. <laughs> This I'm guy so, gets it. I'm so mad right now. <laughs> the bard's about doodly 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 to friend doodly. all of you to death. <laughs> no one's gonna die here. No one's gonna die. He died to death. <laughs> no one's gonna die. Dance, dance until you die. What the fuck is a reaction? Oh man. Everyone will live. Everyone will live. Um, I, I can't figure out how to do it. Um, uh -oh. So we're just going to cheat because that's what we do sometimes. Um, everyone's right. everyone's going to roll a saving throw versus spell um, with 5th edition style disadvantage. Um, so you're going to roll two dice, take the lower. Um, All right. Oh, oh no, it'd be, the, it'd be the higher because you want... Uh, yes. you want it. Yeah. Okay, so... Cool. Yes! Dan, you're, Dan, you're, yeah, a, friend. you're a friend. You're friend. Yeah. Riley's oh, uh, not impressed. Uh, neither is Hook Nose. Dave. Uh, wow. Um, the dogs. The dogs calm down now. The Yay. dogs love you. Squid. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, it's working everyone? okay. Oh, and uh, uh, Black Ember. Um, roll Black Josh, so I'm waiting for it to reload. Yeah. Yeah, waiting on Josh. Yeah, Black Black Ember friend. Black Ember's a friend. <laughs> Hey, I've snagged a few important people. Yeah, it's true. So it's it's only Riley and the Hook Nose. Riley and the Hook Nose <laughs> are the only ones who are not. And Riley might be impressed by my my fancy footwork. Yeah, Riley can't do anything. You can't fight. I, yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> I, I rolled an eight and a thirteen. I don't know which of those is better. Um, I think a thirteen will probably preclude you because we're going against spell. Your Grim Iron Beard. Um, you're gonna be the same as Win because we didn't put yours in. Cool, we didn't put his in either. I'm pretty sure nice. 13 fails. If it doesn't later, you have my apologies. So All right. everyone besides Hooknose and Riley who can't do anything, chill the fuck out. We are gonna stop fighting and talk this out mm -hmm. and see what we're doing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. work this out like civilized people. Yeah. Everyone got that? And Hooknose just throws himself at you with the dagger drawn, and the vampire completely vanishes inside of the vault, and that's where we're going to end tonight. <laughs> with Hooknose just like, launching himself across the room, screaming, and the rest of the party looking like, this is nice, I like this, I'm okay with I'm this. I'm just dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, how, how far up the steps... Is it to the the first floor? Is it um, you could be in the hallway, up out of the room, if you like. <laughs> yeah. Also, since I'm dancing, I think it's gonna be a little even harder for him to hit me. Yeah. That, because I that. think norm normally I have a thaco of three with my bracers, but if it does do the plus two decks like I thought it did, yeah. Then he needs a. Uh, then my uh, armor class is two. Nice. All right. Well, cool. Um, we did not quite get to the conclusion, um, so there will be one more one more episode to handle all of the uh, the the last little tidbits and whatnot. Um, and more than likely, y'all are gonna crack open this vault here with all of its uh, goodies stashed away, mm -hmm. which is exciting. Okay. So, so uh, we'll look forward to that on the um, next episode of the Electric Dice Podcast. Um, thank you, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone, for showing up. Thanks, everybody, for playing. Hopefully you had a good time. Oh, I did. <laughs> All right, I did. we're going to get out of here. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Yeah. <laughs>